Mr. Molly, please stand. Michael Molly, for your conviction for the offense of conspiracy to possess with the intent to distribute heroin, upon your plea of guilty, the government has recommended a sentence below the mandatory minimum. This recommendation has been made based on the fact that you have provided substantial assistance to the government. The maximum sentence for this particular conviction is 27 years, which in this case seems very reasonable to this court, considering the fact that this is your fourth conviction. But because of your cooperation with and assistance to the authorities and your acceptance of responsibility for your actions, it is the sentence of this court that you are to serve 15 years imprisonment at the Atlantis State Correctional Facility, where it is mandated that you enroll in and complete GED courses. Also, you are to serve five years of supervised release at the Harbor Star Halfway Facility. Your probation is to be served in a halfway facility because this court believes that your environment plays a major part in the choices that you make. Those choices in the past have been very detrimental to your future. This court believes that the change in environment will serve you well. The maximum fine for this offense is $4 million. It has been determined that you are not able to pay any fines as you have no assets. You will, however, be responsible for the $100 assessment fee. Federal benefits will not be denied because the ineligibility period will expire while you are yet incarcerated. This court notes that you have potential, Mr. Molly. You have received a certificate in plumbing and basic electronics. One of your former employers is willing to consider rehiring you. Mr. Molly, you have been given a second chance. Make the best of it. This court does not want to see you return to the system after your term has been served. This concludes sentencing.